uh, I kind of want to get into that a little bit more. Like, is there anything that you're currently working on to like develop that community feel? I know just like putting out super authentic content, like it helps with that. But how do you think about just communities in general? Uh, I I think it's essential if you want to have longevity on TikTok because mm-hmm. like, like like we said earlier, the the one true fan is going to be better than the the hundred fake ones or just the random ones because they're they're gonna follow you through thick and thin essentially. So having that strong community is something where if you don't have it, yeah, you may have a couple viral videos here and there, but it's not gonna amount to anything. And the way I try and do that, yeah, like I said, I listen to my audience. I try to respond to everyone that leaves a comment. I try to really make it feel like I'm just a normal person because I feel I am. I'm just a normal person. I'm here to help you in whatever way you need that help. And when they see that I'm just the average person helping them out, they're like, oh man, I really like this person because they're not trying to be like, oh, he has this following. He's he's better than us and all of that. So that, that's I try to always make it seem like I'm down to earth and all of that. And from that, I'm trying to work on other things on the side, like working on a TikTok course now that I think is gonna help bring everyone in the community to be like, hey, this is this is what's gonna help, and it's gonna be in a, a way that you can help each other as well when you're a part of it. That's great. That's awesome. Like kind of not just connecting people with you, but connecting them with each other. Yeah. I feel like that's super powerful. Yeah. And also what you mentioned about like how to be relatable to people, right? Mm-hmm. Like not putting yourself on a pedestal compared to other people, but like how can you just like have those interact interactions with your followers? Yeah. Like allow them to kind of participate in the type of content that you make by giving feedback and by listening to them. Yeah. Like, I think that goes that goes a long way with people. Yep. And again, I, th- I think that's something that just goes overlooked by a lot of people. Like leaving a simple comment, like people appreciate that. People want to feel like they're being heard, and just responding to a simple comment that. They probably didn't expect to get a response from that's going to go a long way in their heads, even though it may seem mm-hmm. like a very small thing to you. I got one more question for you, Steven. All right. If you could give yourself any piece of advice when you were just getting started on TikTok, just getting started on your content creation journey, what would that advice be? That advice would be, you have to just go for it. Don't, don't hesitate. If you're somebody that maybe thinks of yourself as a perfectionist, it's not going to matter because you're never going to have the perfect video. You're never going to have the perfect piece of content. You're going to have a lot of ups and downs, but if you just keep, you just have to keep attacking it. Like, you know, like it has to be something where you understand not everything's going to be the best thing out there, but you have to accept that and understand that all right, what's the, what's the lesson that I can learn from that? What's the lesson that I can learn from this? So the less you think about trying to make something perfect, the more you just, just do it, the better off you're going to be. That's great advice. I completely agree. I think that probably the hardest part is getting started, yeah. right? Taking the jump, taking a jump in the deep end, just to see, you know, if you can swim, just going yeah. for it. And then like, just not caring at all afterwards. It's like, all right, I'm taking a jump. I'm going for it. I'm going to learn along the way. Yeah. I completely agree. Yeah. I, I, I remember what, before I posted my first video, my, fir- my first ever TikTok video, I remember I was like, man, I was sitting on this thing for days and it was like a 10 second video anyway. I'm like, I don't know if I can do this. What, what if nobody likes it? What if, what if everyone hates it? It, it doesn't matter. You're going you're gonna to have to learn at some point if this is something you want to do. I completely resonate with that. So like before I got on TikTok, uh, it was like about a year ago. Um, and like my, my roommate had been kind of saying like, yo, you should get on TikTok. Like mm. I was just getting on. My sister was telling me like, oh, like this platform TikTok. I'm like, ah, no, that's, that's not, that's not it. That's not it. And like, I've been hearing those whispers for a while. And it was finally at the point where like mentally I made that decision. I was like, all right, I'm going to do it. Mm. And it was just like, it kind of lingered for a little bit. Like I had some video ideas. Yeah. It, it waited for a while. 